please welcome your host, Dale Winton. Thank you. Thank you. Now tonight, these five people are all hoping to win some money. See, the name of the game is to be in the right place at the right time. And the right place is here with me on Winner's Row. You see, the trick is to stay here until the klaxon goes. So, let's begin. Who will be the first person joining me? You all have your own colour. Which one of you will be drawn first? Let's find out. It's pink, it's Tony. Come and make some money. I'm Tony Elliott, I'm 49, and I'm a travel agent from Sheffield. Hi, Tony. Hi, Dan. Dan. Sit down. Thank you. I always think that to be the first person in Winners Row must be a great feeling. It is, it's fantastic, but nervous too. Now, you know what I'm going to say. The deal is you've got to stay here as long as you can. If you're here when the klaxon goes, well, whatever's in the prize fund, you'll get a share of it. Right. Who did you bring along tonight for support? I bought Bren and Andy. OK, Bren. And Bren's your wife. Bren's my wife. And who's Andy? Andy's my best friend. Well, nice to see you both. They're willing you to do well, as we all are. What I love about your story is that you have a real purpose to be here tonight. But before you tell me what that is, how much do you think you'd like to go home with tonight to make that dream come true? To make that life-changing thing happen would take about 50,000. So why do you need 50 grand? To buy the house that we're in. Uh, we brought up three kids there and... Um, it would be a great opportunity to, to make it ours. It's all a possibility tonight. The one thing you don't want to be doing is going to the red area, OK? Because that is perilous. What that means is there's only two ways out of that, back here on Winners Row or right back where you started with the other players. So try and stay here as long as you possibly can. Okay, Each question is worth £5,000. Are you ready for your first question? I'm ready. OK, here we go. Michael Benteen was a member of which comedy group? Was it The Goons, Monty Python, or The Goodies? Right, this is probably my era. It, uh, it, it pays being old sometimes. Well, it's my <laughs> era too, so you're saying I'm old too? I guess you are. <laughs> um, I'm almost sure I know this, Dale, um, and I think it's The Goons. In fact, I I'm sure it's The Goons. OK, I'll take The Goons. If you are right, we're off to a good start with five grand in the prize fund. If we're not, red area for you. Tony, is the answer the goons? Yes! Oh, thank you. Five grand in the prize fund, which is good news. Here's your second question. Are you ready? Ready. Which county cricket team play their home matches at Lords? Is it Surrey, Middlesex or Essex? You kind of blinked when you saw the question, which I don't know if that's a good blink or a bad blink. It's a mixture. I love cricket. But I know it's one of those three counties, but I... <laughs> I'm not sure. I was sure until the three came up. And now I'm not so sure. Oh, OK. Um, Lords. I've actually been there. Um, I don't... I don't think it's Essex. I'm leaning towards Surrey. I don't know why. Um, I don't know where it's come from, but I, I think I'm going to go for Surrey. Would you like me to take Surrey as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Let's see. You've said Surrey. Tony, are you right? <laughs> you could well be back sooner than you think. You've only got to get yourself out of the red area, which I'm going to send you to right now. So for now, Tony, please make your way to the red area. Tony's misfortune is great news for our other players. One of them will be joining me here in Winners Row. Who is it going to be? Well, let's find out. It's White, it's Greg. Come and join me on Winners Row. I'm Greg Wilkie. I'm a 29-year-old area sales advisor from Aberdeen. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Down. Thank you very much. How are you feeling? Confident. Oh, confident? <laughs> that is really good to know. Half half. So, who have you brought with you for support tonight? Uh, tonight I've got my mother, Lynn, 
and uh, my brother-in-law, Tim. Brother-in-law and mum. Mum's very glam, isn't she glamorous? Gorgeous mum, looking lovely. <laughs> You come here with a dream, and I love this dream because this dream is all about foreign travel, isn't it? Well, a, a few years ago, um, I'd been meaning to sponsor a tiger, um, and she, the tiger, lives over in Nepal. And uh, I'd love to, to be able to have the money to go across and, and, and see the tiger. And, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. What is the tiger's name? Because it has a name. Um, it does, yeah. She's called Manu Potti. I believe one of the names uh, means female okay. in, in Nepalese. A potty female. A potty female, I guess. <laughs> OK. You need to get there. To do that, you need to put some money in the prize fund. You can relax for a moment. Your first question isn't until I've spoken to Tony, who's sitting anxiously in the red area. He doesn't want to be there. Let's get Tony out of the red area. How are you feeling? Nervous. Here's the deal in the red area. I'm going to ask you a question. I need the correct answer. A wrong answer puts you right back where you started, along with our other three players. Correct answer, of course, will be back in winner's row. It isn't multiple choice. This is one question, one answer. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Here's your question to get you out of the red area. In July 2001, which novelist and lord was jailed for perjury and perverting the course of justice? Um, I, I'm, I'm almost sure I know this, and I think it's uh, Lord Archer, Geoffrey Archer. OK. Are you saying to me, Dale, take that as my answer? Yes, please. OK. Is it Lord Archer? Is it Geoffrey? OK, two boys in winner's row, five grand in the prize fund. Greg, let's have your first question. The Old Man of Loch Nagar is a children's book by which member of the royal family? Who wrote? Was it <laughs> Prince Charles, Princess Anne or Prince Edward? Uh, well, Dale, fortunately enough for me, Loch Nagar is right at the back of my house. <laughs> uh, or my parents' house, I should say. Um, and the answer is uh, Prince Charles. I'll take Prince Charles as your answer. You're absolutely convinced. It'll be dreadful if you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope you're right. For £5,000 in the prize fund and the right to stay here on Winners Road, Greg says Prince Charles. Would that be right? Yes, well done. <laughs> be really good, Tony, if we've got a bit of a roll going here, wouldn't it? It would be fantastic. Here is your next question. What name is given to words that read the same backwards as they do forwards? Would it be oxymoron, simile, or palindrome? To be perfectly frank, the only one I've heard of is palindrome. And I think that could well be the right answer. Um, oh, no, I know, I know simile is, uh, is the same as. I'm going to go for palindrome. I'll take palindrome. Did you get it right, Tony? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> well it's looking good. Fifteen grand in the prize fund. Greg, you flew through the last answer. You were brilliant. Spot on. Will history repeat itself? Let's have a look. Here's your next question. Which organ in the human body has ventricles and atria? Is it liver? Is it spleen? Or is it heart? Going back a few years now, I did, did do higher biology at school. Uh, now, liver, I believe, is where the bile is. Don't want to get too graphic here. No, you, you explain. I love <laughs> casualties, so you go right for it. <laughs> or is it the spleen? Actually, I think, it, I think it's the heart. I'm pretty sure it's the heart. Pretty sure it's the heart. Sure? OK. Sure. Yeah. Greg says heart. I'll take heart. The organ of the human body. Is it the heart? Yes! <laughs> Tony, you and Greg are working a treat. Here's your next question. Traditionally, what is the main alcoholic ingredient in a pina colada? Would it be gin, rum or vodka? And you'd give anything for one right now, wouldn't you? I would. The downside is I've no idea what's in one. Um, 
pina colada. It's not a good time to say my wife would know. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would. Um, pina colada is... It's quite exotic. Um, I don't think it would... I don't think it'd be gin. So again, I'm stuck with rum and vodka. The most exotic of the two is rum. Um, I'm going to go for rum. Dale. Okay. I'll take that as your answer. Is the answer rum? Yes! <laughs> so, let's have a look. Live spirit and private lives are plays by which 20th century writer? Is it John Osborne, Noel Coward, or Harold Pinter? To be absolutely honest, I don't think I've heard of either of those. Um, for some reason, Noel Coward's jumping at me. I don't think it was John Osborne. I just uh, I have a feeling it's not John Osborne. So it's sort of down to the other two. Okay. And I've heard of Noel Coward, and I don't think I'm gonna get any further to the to the answer. I'm gonna say Noel Coward. Greg, am I to take Noel Coward as your answer? Yes. I will take Noel Coward as your answer. Are you right, Greg? Tony, here's your question. Who won two consecutive Best Actor Oscars in the 1990s? Would it be Tom Hanks, Nicolas Cage, or Kevin Spacey? I think the mere fact that it's the 90s and not 2000 and onwards makes me think it's going to be Tom Hanks. Um, Green Mile. I could dance around this for a while, but I, I'm going to say Tom Hanks. OK. Tony, I'll take Tom Hanks as your answer. Who did win two consecutive Best Actor Oscars in the 1990s? Did you get it right, Tony? How's it going? It's just gone. <laughs> Great. Here's your next question. In 1959, what became the 49th American state? Was it Hawaii, New Mexico, or Alaska? I was just hoping, <laughs> I was just hoping that Hawaii and Alaska... Uh, it's one of the two of those. It's oh, Hawaii okay. or Alaska. I was just hoping that... <laughs> well, you wanted one rather than one the other. One rather than the other. Okay, I can understand what you're saying. So I'm going to eliminate New Mexico. Um, 49th state. But I seem to think that Hawaii was the last state to be added to the United States. I think I'm going to have to go Hawaii on this. OK. So, we want it to be Hawaii. Greg, did you get the answer right? <laughs> That's the right answer. I was looking for Alaska. Please make your way to the red area. Here's your question. In the periodic table, what is the chemical symbol for potassium? Would it be K, H, or S? Right, I can tell you I have no idea whatsoever on this. Uh, let me just see if I can see any potassium. Um, this is going to sound strange. <laughs> I've heard strange lateral, before, tell me. With lateral thinking, I'm going to go for S, because potassium has an S in it. I mean, it's got two S's in it. It's, it's going to be a complete guess. Um, if somebody's on my side, it'll be the right guess. 
I'm going to go for S. I'm on your side, but I don't know if you've got the right answer. <laughs> Would you like me to take S as your answer, then? Is that what you're saying? Yes, please, Dale. OK. Tony says S. I'll take S. Is S the right answer? So sorry, but you know, he said it was going to have to be a guess on That's that right. one. So yeah. please go and join Greg in the red area. <laughs> Nicola, Moira, and Jim are all waiting, wondering which one of them it's going to be sitting right here on Winner's Row. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. It's green, it's Nicola. Come and join me on Winner's Row. Come on! I'm Nicola Slade, a 26-year-old web editor and designer from London. Come and sit down. Now, that must be a great feeling, sitting from here and from over there. Brilliant. I've seen the two boys kind of work up the prize fund, so I've been quite and happy haven't about they? done all the work for you. <laughs> £35,000 in that prize fund, which is fabulous. Who's here with you for support? My mum, Jan, and my dad, Steve. Mum and dad up there who are willing you to do well. Um, what I love about you and your story is you've come here with a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's so romantic and it's so <laughs> fabulous. What is it you want to do? Um, I want to go and learn to tango in Buenos Aires. Do you now? I do. Have you tried the tango? I have, I have. I've had a few lessons. Uh, you've got a dream. I hope you fulfil it tonight. So you can relax for a moment. You don't have to okay. answer a single question. But I will be back with your first question once I've got the boys out of the red area. So, fellas, here's an interesting one. You're both in the red area. You can both go back to Winners Row or you can both go right back where you started. So, let's do your question and see how you get on. Umbria is a region in which European country? Do you have any idea? No. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Umbria. I, I've got a strange feeling about Spain. About Spain? Um, You've been there? I went once. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't to Umbria. It's a shame there's not a sea there. Uh, yeah. I didn't know yeah. where it was. <laughs> um, Umbria. I think the only thing I've got in my head is Spain. Right. Don't ask me why I've got that in there. Right, right. Um, this is going to put my geography to shame, but... Well, uh, I should know things like this, <laughs> but... Shall we, shall we go for Spain? What is it you do for a living again? Uh, I've forgotten, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm a travel agent. Thank you. <laughs> And everybody at home will be saying, I can't believe this. Shall we go for Spain? Let's give it a shot, yeah. Is it legal to hold hands while we wait? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to go for Spain. You're going to go for Spain? Yes, it's yes Spain. Yes, do. Spain, OK. I'll take Spain as your answer. If that is correct, well, you know what's going to happen. Back to winner's row. If you're wrong, I don't even say it. Is the answer Spain? Sorry. It was close. I'm so sorry, but I must say, would you please make your way right back to where you started? I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> Nicola, I do wish you luck with this. Can't believe it. Your first question. And you're alone in Winners Row. Here it is. What type of animal is an ibex? Is it a goat? A deer? Or a fox? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Um, OK. I don't think there are that many um, different breeds of fox for some reason. Um, something's telling me it's a deer. Something's definitely telling me it's a deer. I'm going to plump the deer, I think. Yeah. That's my guess. I'll take deer. Nicola, are you mm. right? Oh. I am so sorry. You know what I'm going to say? Please make your way to the red, the red area. Sign. Tony, Greg, Moira, Jim, I have great news for you. One of them is going to be joining me here in Winners Row. Who's it going to be? Let's find out.
It's blue, it's Jim. Come and join me on Winners Row. I'm Jim Bowes, I'm 22, and I own a retro clothing store, and I'm from Hampshire. Doing fine. How are you doing? More to the point. I'm much better now. Because it was getting to that moment where you thought, will it ever be my turn? It was. Yeah. Who's here for support tonight? I've got Eve, who's my wife, just there, and I've got my mum as well, Louise. You, you're very fashion conscious and you're very trendy. I can see by looking at Eve as well. You all look gorgeous. There's a reason for this, isn't there? Yes. Uh, about three months ago, we opened uh, a retro clothing shop. Okay. Uh, we just started. Uh, our, and we import 60s, 70s, and 80s vintage clothing from America. Great. Um, and we're looking to sort of develop the business if I win some money tonight. Well, let's, let's be adventurous. I mean, there's 35 grand in the prize fund. However, your question's on the way. But now let's try and get Nicola out of the red area. Are you ready? Yeah. Here's your question. Cordelia, Goneril and Regan are characters in which Shakespeare play? King Lear. <laughs> is, is that what you'd like to take as your answer? Um, I think they are the three sisters in King Lear. I hope I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be extremely embarrassed because I did literature at university. <laughs> OK, well, Nicola says King Lear. Will that answer be the one that gets her back into winner's row? We hope so. Jim, your first question. Let's do it. Here it is. What is the official language of Monaco? Is it Spanish, French, or Portuguese? OK. I don't know the answer to the question. It makes me think of the Grand Prix. Um, and I don't think the answer's Portuguese. So it's between French and Spanish. I think Monaco... I think it's next to... It's got a sort of air of poodles and Frenchness about it. <laughs> so I'm going, to, I'm going to give the answer French. OK. Jim says French. Is it right? Let's find out. Well, didn't he? 40 grand in the prize fund. You've yet to put any money in here. Let's do it now, shall okay. we, Nicola? Here's your question for £5,000. The TV sitcom The Office is set in which town? Is it Slough, Croydon or Staines? <laughs> Did you watch it? Yes. <laughs> um, it's funny that Staines comes up because I lived there once. Um, it's Slough. OK. Nicola says Slough. Would Nicola be right? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> 45 grand in the prize fund, not enough for my liking, Jim. Let's put another five grand in. Here's your question. The Glengarry and Homburg are examples of which type of clothing? It's your field. The choices are shoe, coat or hat? I'm... Again, I don't know um, the answer to the question. However, I don't think it's shoe, which puts it between hat and coat. And of the two, I would probably bear more towards hat. And so I'm going to give that as my answer. I'm going to say hat. OK. Jim says hat. Is the answer hat? Nicola, your turn. <laughs> Five grand, let's make it £55,000 in the prize fund. Here's your question. In the Old Testament of the Bible, whose wife was turned into a pillar of salt? Whose wife was it? Was it Solomon, Lot or Gideon? I'm really not sure about this one. <sighs> Solomon, Lot, Gideon. Gideon's Bible. <laughs> um, wife was turned into a pillar of salt. I don't know why I think Solomon. I th it's a random guess. I'm going to say Solomon. 
Okay. Shall I take Solomon as your answer? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Nicholas says Solomon. That's mm. the answer she's looking for. It's worth £5,000 and the right to stay in Winners Row. Is Solomon the answer we're looking for? I'm so sorry. You've had a rough <laughs> ride tonight, one way or the other. It's exciting. <laughs> it is. Please make your way back to red. Well, we have Tony, we have Greg and we have Moira. All three in the waiting area. Tony and Greg have been in the right place at the right time. Moira, on the other hand, has yet to crack it. Will this be her turn? Let's find out. It's yellow, it's Moira! I'm Moira Connell, age 46. I'm a personal account manager from the Wirral. Hello, love. Come and sit down. They've all been keeping that seat very warm for you. Yeah, it's hot. It's where you want to be, isn't it, at the end I of the day? I just take the clacks and goes in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, who have you brought with you for support? My husband, Chris, and my best friend, June. OK. We all have a dream, and if we're honest, a lot of us would like to do what you'd like to do, yeah. which is what? I want to go and live abroad in Los Cristianos. Oh, but in Tenerife? Yeah, yeah. We want to up sticks and move out. Yeah, you just want to live um, in the sunshine. I do, yeah. Have what a more relaxed life. And what about hubby? Does, does he share your eyes? He's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know yet, though. <laughs> no, he's going to give up work as well. Yes. Relax. Okay. Your first question's on the way. Meanwhile, okay. Nicola. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm fine. I'm well, fine. you know the deal. I'm going to give you a question. It is not multiple choice. No. Get it right, and you'll be joining Jim and Moira in Winner's Row. Mm -hmm. If you're wrong, Greg and Tony have company, which is not where you want to be at this late stage in the game. No. Here's your question. <laughs> For the right to go back to Winner's Row, who did Andre Agassi marry in 2001? It was the other tennis player. Right. I've got to remember her name. <sighs> Jenny. Is it Jenny someone? Oh, what is her name? I think it's Jenny someone or Jennifer. I don't know why I'm thinking of that name, but I am. Um... <sighs> is it Paula? Is it... <laughs> Paula someone, isn't it, now? And it's not Paula Abdul, cos she's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Paula... Ah, oh, I can't remember her surname. I think it's Paula... Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't give you a surname. So you're saying Paula? <laughs> well, I can't. I don't... I can't remember. Are you saying you want to pass on the question? Yes. I'm going to have to. I'm going to kick myself, but I have to. Well, you know what I'm going to say you are. If you passed on the answer, you do know you're going to go right back where you started. Yeah, but I you know. were playing for the chance to go back to I Winners know. Row at this moment in time. The answer I was looking for was... Steffi Graf! Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nicola, please make your way right back to where you started. Oh. Oh. The old Oh, no! The klaxon has gone. The klaxon has gone. That means only one thing. The prize fund is now frozen at £50,000. Jim, Moira, you are in the right place at the right time and could be taking home a share of that prize fund. You haven't answered a question, you <laughs> That's know. That's what I was hoping for. How, how are you? That's good. Um, you can relax. You're one question away from a share of that fifty grand. However, I don't know what to say to Tony, Greg and Nicola, but I have to say good night. Moira and 
Jim. You know, I hate to see people go like that, especially when they put so much in. Moira, you haven't put a penny in the prize fund, and yet here you are sitting in the right place at the right time. Jim, you've put in 10 grand, which is great. They're both looking at a share of £25,000 each out of a £50,000 prize fund, and they're just one question away from walking away with that cash. Relax, take it steady. I wish you the best of luck. I'll return. Now, a few minutes ago, Jim helped build the prize fund up to £50,000. Moira arrived just in time for the klaxon and is yet to answer her first question. But they're both looking at a share of at least £25,000 each. And you know what? They're just one question away each from that cash. Ooh. Ooh, hold my hand. <laughs> I'll hold your hand. You want me to hold your hand, sweetheart? Here's the deal. No second chances. It's strange to say this is your first question, yeah. but it is. Mm. It's crucial you get this one right. You're looking at a share of £25,000, but you need to get this one question right. Mm. If you get it wrong, you won't be taking home any cash, and you'll serve to push Jim's share up, doubling it, actually, to 50. Yeah. One question. Are you ready? Yes. Do you want me to hold your hand? No, it's all right now. You sure? <laughs> OK. <warm> you <laughs> I'm there. I'm with you. Here's your question. Tiger Bay is a Dockland area in which UK city? Tiger Bay is a Dockland area in which UK city? Is it Cardiff? Is it Edinburgh? Or is it Belfast? I know this because this is where Shirley Bassey and Tom Jones came from. And it, it's Cardiff. It's Cardiff? Yeah. Would you like me to take Cardiff as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. <laughs> Moira says Cardiff. For a share of that £50,000 prize fund, her share's looking at twenty-five grand at the moment. Is Cardiff the right answer? Oh, my God. How are you feeling? Wonderful. You came here tonight with a dream and you sat there in the waiting area for what seemed like an eternity. Yeah. And you came with a dream. You said to me, Dale, I need a good chunk of money. What was it you said to me? Was it 30 grand you needed? Well, look, no, hey. Yeah, I, I, can, I can get five from anywhere. Can you? <laughs> okay. So the last thing you said to me was, hubby is definitely coming. No, I'm going... Was that coming? Well, no, I'm trying to make it right now for your husband. <laughs> I'm trying to put the words right for you. Uh, so he is coming, isn't he? Yeah, You're both going to go yeah. and live in Tenerife. Yeah. When are you going to make plans for that? This year. This year? Yeah. So you came here and you've got a new life? Yeah, definitely. Oh, my good. God, I can't believe it. I'm so good. happy. Well, good. You've done wonderfully well. It's been a great game for you tonight. You can relax now, because we've got Jim over there, who also wants to be smiling like you. But for now, well done, Moira. Thank you. Moira's going to live in Tenerife. Yeah. You, Jim, came here with a dream for your business. Absolutely. For your retro fashion business. You're now looking at a share of £25,000. I mean, this is attainable, isn't it, if you crack this next question. I won't keep you waiting any longer. Shall we do your question? Yeah. We all wish you luck. I do wish you luck. Here we go. Which Spice Girl duetted with Brian Adams on the 1998 hit single, When You're Gone? Was it Jerry Halliwell, Melanie Chisholm, or Emma Bunton? Well, I'm delighted to say I know the answer to this question. And... I can't say her surname very well, so I think I'll just say Melanie C. Would you like me to take Melanie C as your answer? You mean Melanie Chisholm, obviously. I certainly would. OK. Jim is playing for the chance to go home with a share of that 50 grand. He's looking at £25,000. I've taken Melanie Chisholm as his answer. Is your dream going to come true? Is that the right answer? What a moment. So, oh, nice. we have two very happy bunnies. Two very happy bunnies. Listen, the hard work is over. You can relax for a moment. I've got a cheque for you, and I'll be back with that cheque very soon.
Well, all that remains for me to do now is to give Moira and Jim their checks for a massive £25,000 each. I'll see you soon. Have a great night. Good night. I really did wonder, for most of tonight's show, whether I'd ever actually be saying, Moira Conwell, a cheque for £25,000. Well done. Congratulations. Enjoy Tenerife, and thanks Thank for being you. great. Thank you. Moira. Thanks, dear. Jim Bowes, when you arrived today, you said to me, I'm driven, I am going to do this. Was it really a possibility in your own mind that there'd be 25 grand on a cheque with your name on it? Not 25 grand, no. Not 25 grand. There it is. It's yours. Well Thank done. You. Congratulations. Absolutely wonderful. You deserve it. Well done, Jim.